au majukumu matano nilionayo kwa nunu the five hats or the five responsibilities that i have for nunu haujui yanagonizungusha maana yake natoka kofia jukumu moja kwenda jukumu jingine wakati mwingine una switch in 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 few seconds you don't know how they disturb you how they bother me when i have to switch from one to another in a few seconds kwa muda mchache I'm, I'm, I'm still talking about one in respect. Now you know I respect this woman. Naongea bado mmoja tu. Unajua namheshimu sana. So so it's one of my babies. Kwa hiyo ni mtoto wangu mmoja from the six I'm talking about. Kutoka kwa hao sita naongelea. But because she's she's in me and by me ni kwa sababu yuko ndani yangu na pembeni yangu whether i like or not nipende au nisipende nipende au nisipende she has to be first priority lazima awe wa kwanza namba moja she's not an angel Yes, so malaika. So if she becomes emotional on anything. Akiwa ana isia flani. Isia flani kuhusu kitu chochote inamsumbua. I can't ignore. Siwezi ku kupuzia tu. So I have to find a way to bring her back to normal. Inabidi nitafute njia kumrudisha au kwa kawaida. It may take two minutes. Inaweza kuchukua dakika mbili. Or it may take the whole day. Au inaweza kuchukua siku nzima. I'm still talking about one baby. Naongelea bado mtoto mmoja tu. And then here comes Donis. Alafu hapa anakuja Donis. My son where is it? Mtoto wangu yuko wapi? Uh the bathroom. <laughs> He has his own issues as well naya na issue matatizo yake pia while i am raising him up wakati ninamkuza i have to be sensitive to what he is also sensitive to inabidi niwe mwangalifu kwa vitu ambavyo naye yuko vinavomsumbua mnanisikia yeah, do you hear me when he comes with needs akija na mahitaji i can shovel them away siwezi kuvipuzia tu then comes dorin alafu anakuja dorin she's now 16 sasa hivi ana miaka 16 one of the best thing this girl has done kitu kizuri ambacho mtoto amefanya is to fight from being uh, in relationship with the boys ni kupigana kuwa na mahusiano na wavulana. Very hard. Ni mgumu sana, ni mgumu sana. And the reason is hard. Na sababu ni ngumu is because I don't know anybody here. Sijui mtu yoyote hapa who did not have a boyfriend or girlfriend. Ambaye alikuwa hana boyfriend wala girlfriend. When time came. Wakati muda ulifika some at 15 wengine miaka 15 some at 20 wengine kwa na miaka 20 some at 19 wengine miaka 19 and so forth na vingine vitu vingine vingine na kuendelea so kwa kama wewe vilikushinda if it was hard for you is still gonna be hard for our, our daughters na itakuwa ngumu pia kwa mabinti zetu what amazes me you can have you can have you can have um three years old daughter kinachoshangaza unaweza kuwa na binti wa miaka mitatu she behaves just like an angel ana 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 tabia kama laika whatever you say she say yes ma 
Unachosema anasema ndio mama. Yes dad. Ndio baba. I'm sorry dad. Samani baba. Then she becomes five. Alafu anafika miaka mitano. She's still an angel. Bado malaika. Then you can sit back and say my good I am a good parent. Na unaweza ukakaa ukasema ah mimi ni mzazi mzuri kweli. I'm going to write a book. Nitaandika kitabu <laughs> how to raise kids. Namna ya kukuza watoto. 5 years. Miaka mitano. It could be too soon to write that book. Inaweza kuwa <laughs> Ni mapema sana kuandika hicho kitabu. You just have to keep on waiting. Inabidi tuendelee kusubiri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I have to be there and I have to do some things that I never experienced my family from my dad. Inabidi nifanye niwe hapo na nifanye vitu ambavyo sijawahi kupata kwa baba yangu. My dad was a preacher, a great man of God. Baba yangu alikuwa ni mtumishi wa Mungu mkubwa sana. He was on the road most of the time. Alikuwa barabarani muda mwingi tu. If he's at home he's praying. Kama yuko nyumbani ni anaomba. So I had to learn some other things through other ways and just by the grace of God and some things I did not know until the Lord taught me. Ilibidi nijifunze vitu vingine mwenyewe tu. Na vitu vingine kabidi nunu anifundishe. And some of the things I had to learn in life with friends. Vitu vingine nilibidi nijifundishe kwenye maisha na marafiki zangu. Now here I have a daughter. Sasa hapa na mtoto na binti in the, of the 21st century. Wa karne ya 21. Who don't know nothing and don't even care about my past ambaye hajui chochote na wala ajali nilipopitia so she wants me to love her anataka nimpende and she does not really demand it. love me love me love me but rather she complains when she doesn't see my love to her haniambii nipende 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 lakini analalamika pale asipoona mapenzi yangu kwake I'm still talking about my third. Bado naongelea mtoto wangu wa tatu. I want you to touch your neighbor say neighbor. Nataka unguse jirani yako useme jirani. Majukumu ya mchungaji. The responsibilities of a pastor. Ni makubwa. They are huge. The Dorin of 10 years old. Dorin wa miaka kumi. By the way just to make this this like clear jina lake sio Dorin. Oh. Ni Dorin. Jina lake sio Her name is not Dorin, it's Dorin. 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 Kuna Dorin na Dorin. There is Dorin and there is Dorin. Amen. Amen. Dorin of 10 years old is not Dorin of 16 years old. Dorin wa miaka 10 sio Dorin wa miaka 16. And every time I'm talking about this you keep on shaking your head. You make me feel comfortable. Kila wakati napongelea hii mnatingisha kichwa chenu na nifanye nisikie amani. This is one of This is one of the one of the reason you just have to hang hang around with me. Hii ndio sababu moja inabidi muwe karibu yangu tu. You can write a book now about parenting. Unaweza kuandika sasa hivi kitabu kuhusu uzazi. Maybe a couple of them. Labda hapo vichache. The Bible says Be quick to hear. Biblia inasema but so to speak. Biblia inasema uwe mwepesi wa kusikia lakini 
sio anataka kukuongea then comes darkness alafu anakuja darkness donis wants to go to football donis yeye anataka kwenda football Dorin wants to go to her interests. Dorin anataka kwenda kwa mambo yake. And then Dabin wants to go to basketball. Dabin pia anataka kwenda basketball. And Dabin wants to go to gymnastic and basketball and football. Dabin pia anataka kwenda football, basketball na kwenye sarakasi. And then Nunu wants to go to her interest. Na Nunu na anataka kwenda kwenye mambo yake. And she's still praying for me when we go to a store. Na bado ananiombea tunapoenda dukani. Maybe she talk to you. Labda nirukie na wewe. Hata mtu mtu. Hata mke na wewe. So when I go to a store. Ninapoenda dukani. I use to not have enough patience to details that he wanted me to pay attention to nilikuwa siko makini kwa vitu alivyokuwa anataka patience uvumilivu uvumilivu kwa vitu ambavyo alikuwa anataka nivione have you seen this one umeona hichi i like this one napenda hichi Oh this car. Do you know they had the dress? Here you know kumbuka ile gauni lile lingine. Na sikumbuki. So I do all I can to make sure that she is happy and and I struggled before. Na gato kwa said now when we come in I'm just I'm gonna sit myself down and you go here and get you you do what you want to do. Boni kafika mahali. Nikafika mahali kusema sasa tukiingia dukani ndio mamesa wewe 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 ingia. Wewe ni mtakatifu pale nakusubiri. Kimaliza tu ni tuko vizuri baba. Amen. Amen. But it, it, it does not work all the time. Lakini haifanyi kazi nda wote. And then comes my sick baby. Alafu anakuja mtoto wangu wa sita the church kanisa my sick baby has imenyo tem tamwe mtoto wangu wa sita kuna imano tamwe there is pastor kevin kuna pastor kevin pastor jerry kuna pastor jerry there is maiga kuna maiga there is jackie kuna jackie Peter Kirigiti. Kuna Peter Kirigiti. His wife. Wake. Shukuru. Kuna Shukuru. His dad. Baba His mom. Mama ke. Then Eric Kigalu. Na kuna Eric Kigalu. Then Joel Everisti. Na kuna Everisti. Then his wife. Wake. You can help me name every name you see there. Na unaweza kunisaidia kutaja kila jina na ponono niona hapo. If I talk to Emmanuel too much, nikiongea na Emmanuel sana, even develop personal friendship. Hata nikifanya mahusiano mimi na Emmanuel. Ndasikia joto ya jiwe. Au au find joto ya jiwe. Heat of the storm. So how to find a way to balance. Inabidi nipate njia ya ku ya ku balance. And, and and I'm not that good. I'm still training myself how to balance. Sio mzuri sana. Bidi na bado najifundisha njia za ku balance. All these children in in my sixth kid, fifth baby. Hao watoto wote kwenye watoto wangu sita have different emotions wana hisia tofauti different habits wana tabia tofauti different faithfulness wana uaminifu tofauti this one is a little lie huyu huyu mmoja ana uongo kidogo this one always defends himself even when he's wrong huyu mwingine anajitetea hata kama ana makosa 
This one here smiles all the time. Huyu mwingine ana smile muda wote. This one this other one smiles when it's sunny. Huyu mwingine anatabasamu mjua likiwaka tu. And I have to know all these things so I know if it's not sunny I should not really come close to this. Inabidi nijue vitu vyote hivi. Kwa kama jua aliwaki nijue nisikufikishwe karibu na wewe. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then you, 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 you end up struggling with them, those that you don't see them to church when it's, it's so important to come to church. Unaenda kuangaika na wale pia ambao hata kanisani ya waji yao wanapata tabu kuja kanisani. This one head. Ichi kichwa kimuja ichi. You can't believe tangu mwaka umeanza sijaongea na baba yangu. You can't believe since the year started I have not spoken to my dad. Kumwishi Merry uh, Happy New Year. Kum kumtakia heri ya mwaka mpya. I couldn't even speak to him even on Christmas to wish him a Merry Christmas. Sikuweza hata kuongea naye wakati wa Christmas kumtakia heri ya Christmas. Not only my dad even I have I haven't spoken to so many of my own family back home. Sio baba yangu tu, sijaongea na familia yangu, watu wengi kwenye familia yangu nyumbani. Then some of you know I also work. Na wengine mnajua nafanya kazi pia. All these things, all these things are upon this vitu vyote hivi viko kwenye hichi kichwa kimoja na huko nisikilize nasema sentence ya mwisho alafu tutaka please listen to me i'm going to say one thing and then we're going to be done i want you to be praying for me nataka wewe unaniombea if you love this church because Number one, you feel I'm a good pastor. Kama unapenda hii kanisa kwa sababu unahisi mimi ni mtumishi mzuri. Could you stay? Unaweza ukabaki and continue to be a good member of this church. Naendelea kuwa mshirika mzuri wa hili kanisa. But you feel I'm not a good pastor to you. Kama unahisi mimi sio mtumishi mzuri kwako wewe you have my permission una rusa yangu to go find the best pastor ukatafute mtumishi mwema kabisa i pray you find one naomba umpate mtumishi utafuta so all these things are may fail because of a human being i will not may i will fail kwa sababu mimi binadamu hivi vitu vingi nitakosa nitakosea Naomba niseme jamani siko na ongea na mtu mmoja na ongea na nini yote Please I'm not talking to one person I'm talking to the whole church Niwe ni kwambie ni kwa natamani ningepata nafasi ya kukana kila mtu ofisini moja moja I have the desire to sit with each and every one in my office nikaongea nikajiachilia nilie mpaka nitoa makamasi mbele yako ndio tume nichunguze so i can talk to you and cry my heart out to you lakini ni vigumu kupata muda wa kuongea na kila mmoja but it's hard to get the time to speak to each and every one of you naomba yapokea maneno please accept these words ujue na yazungumze kutoka kwa moyo wa upendo knowing that i'm speaking from the heart of love na fahamu watoto nalio nao. I understand the children that I have. Wengine huwa hawafokii. Some of you are, they've never been shouted at. Or they've never been scolded. Kwa hiyo ninapoongea nao inabidi niwe mwangalifu nisikosee kwa sababu wewe huwa ufokeli. So when I speak to you I have to be careful because you you are never scolded. Nobody ever shouts at you. Remember to pray for me. Kumbuka kuniombea tafadhali. Amen pastor. Wewe. 
Amen. Amen. Wachungaji wengi huwa wana zao kudumia familia zao kwa sababu ya kuhangaika na washirika. Most pastors forget to take care of their families because they are so busy taking care of the church. Hata kukuingia hiyo gharama ya kusahau familia na kushughulika na kanisa bado hao wa kanisa unamwachanga. Even making the sacrifice taking care of the church and leaving the family the church even leaves him sometimes and some pastors even die from heart diseases some die from different diseases or sicknesses Let me finish the story of the pastor who passed away today. They are accused of committing one great sin. Accusation. Do you hear me? Si unajua namna inavyouma wewe hapo ulipojiangalia ukisingiziwa kama umeolewa ukasingiziwa umelala nje ya ndoa. You know how much it hurts when somebody accuses you. You who are sitting here. When you are married and somebody accuses you of having an affair. Unajua unaweza kusingiziwa